Welcome to this instructional video on assessing primary video. After assessing the previous video, were you confident with your responses? Did you have a good idea of what to look for? Let us explore some recommendations for assessing primary video, starting with technological and associated pedagogical factors. As you listen to the concepts, determine in your mind which factors are the most important to producing an excellent instructional video. When creating a primary video, designers should understand the target audience or learners. Did the previous video on 3D printing appeal to grade 8 learners? Was the language level appropriate? Mobile tablet devices have screens around 7 to 10 inches, and mobile phones around 5 to 6 inches. Designers should be mindful of incorporating graphical data and text, and consider the size of the viewing device. For mobile phones, graphic content should be kept to a minimum. Did the previous video utilize too many visuals? Was the text too small to read on an iPad or mobile phone? If learners are going to view the video on a mobile device, designers should be careful in making the content relevant and to the point. Extended periods of viewing on a small screen can be stressful on the eyes and lead to inattention. Was the content in the previous video too detailed? Was the content too scattered? For certain videos, music can help keep learners' attention and emphasize sections of content. Was music used well in the previous video? How could it have been improved? Now that we have briefly explored assessing primary video from a technological and pedagogical perspective, let us explore structural flow and how it impacts a video's effectiveness.